All right, now it says to uh, go back. Ready? Mr. President. Hubert, Lord Asbel. My goodness, King Richard. What's going on? Did something happen? We've received word that the Valconus is under attack. Damn! I didn't think the monsters would get here so quickly. Do you know something? We can explain everything later. Right now, we need your permission to attack these creatures. King Richard. I couldn't possibly ask that of you. Please, I insist. My kingdom owes a great debt to the courage of Strata. I would do anything in my power to help you. Additionally, sir, I fear our soldiers will be no match for these monsters. However, we have recently acquired the power to combat them. Very well. If things are as you say, I will leave these beasts in your capable hands. Thank you, Mr. President. We won't disappoint you. Error. I guess it won't let me do it in the building. Okay, desert, strata, ruins, or whatever. are quite impressive. <laughs> Aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lieutenant! Assemble the remaining soldiers and hold this point at all costs. Yes, sir. We need to do something about the monsters in these ruins as expediently as possible. Doing so will earn you further accolades and raise your stock. Soon the President will beg to have you as his son-in-law. Please, that's enough. It is not the sort of decision one should be coerced into making. He's right. But it's a truth of marriage. The higher you rise, the less your own opinions matter. You too, Richard? Oh, yes. An endless stream of Windor nobility keeps pestering me about their eligible daughters. I envy your array of options, Your Majesty. Do you now? I've heard talk that you have a beautiful girl waiting at every port in the land. Yeah, it's rough. Girls keep telling themselves and everyone else that they're my lover. Interesting. Might you have done something to give them that impression? Not that I can remember. Come on, guys. This is crazy. I don't want to select a wife like I'm shopping from a catalog. It must be difficult to have so much ass thrown at you. 
wherever you go, anyway. <laughs> bye, bye, bye. Let's see. Might as well, uh, just a little boost. Anyway, and I can't go that way. They're gonna make me go through, uh, trying to eat me for lunch. I guess I'm gonna have to, uh, let's keep going. Do it the old-fashioned way, just like the beginning. Ooh. Shall we be begin? Okay! Hey, look, it's Brave Vesperia. Who is it for? Him or. No. Him? Ah, him. Uh, makes my Creus attack go up. So, uh. Er, eh, what the hell. Let's do this! Ah, uh, they're gonna make me do this again. Alrighty. You dare stand in our way! Feel my spirit piercing flame! It seems we don't have enough healers right now. Am I inadequate? It certainly isn't his fault. We'll just have to protect Hubert. Thank you for the passive-aggressive insult. Funny. Ruka, whoever that is.
Er. Wait, did I? There we go. There we go. Stay away. Scabbard, or whatever you call it. Isn't it? It's not a monocle. What the heck is it? Oh, gauntlet. I thought it, I thought it was a scabbard. Never mind. Okay, so it's for Sophie, then. Durr. That way. Let's see, staff. Oh, it's filled with water again, that's right. Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> Alrighty. Damn scorpions. Er, okay, I'll try. I can fight this thing. Remember. Joined by bees. For your training. Anyway, I did some reading in that Excel mode. It's kind of like a boost mode. It has various uh, effects to uh, Asbel. Anyway. Alright, there we go. How's it going? You know, I could have just crawled over all that crap instead of having to go through the dungeon again, but oh well. I'm sensing something strange. The monsters we seek may be nearby. And with this, your stock will rise, the president will beg to have you as his son-in-law, and... Again with this? Your lips are much too loose, Captain. What sort of soldier openly discusses his comrade's personal affairs? Well, usually my lips are sealed, but when it's information we all share already, <laughs> that's a different story.